At Gotham City Bank, Batman stops a robbery before saving a pharaoh from being run over by a truck. Later on, Batman finds out that the man was rich and pretentious before suddenly giving away all the money he has and being locked up at Arkham Asylum. Meanwhile, a man is being tortured by being tickled, and he says that he will give everything away, but the torturer does not believe him. At a diner, Barbara Gordon is complaining about the city to Dr. Quinzel, and she tells her to laugh it off. Detective Montoya walks in and says she's worried about Jim Gordon. As they leave, the doctor asks out Montoya, and they set a date. At night, Batman is investigating the weird occurrence when he finds a secret door. He enters it to find an ancient Egyptian shrine. Suddenly, police surround him and he clouds the room with a mist. He takes them out one by one in silence before they even know what hit him. As the smoke clears, they find what is left of his work. Meanwhile, Dr. Quinzel is having a session with a patient when she suddenly locks him to the chair. She says he is a menace to society and that he isn't going to change. It appears that Dr. Harleen is, in fact, Harley Quinn. She is subjecting another patient to the torture he subjects others to, as well as another, and another, and now her latest patient. She releases one of her patients to get him to torture another and force him to give up all his possessions. Batman is still investigating, and Alfred finds traces of Harley's work. Batman says that the psychiatrist is the one behind this, as he found a checkbook during his investigations earlier. At Arkham Asylum, Barbara is appointed to represent Mr. Demingham, who is convinced he is a pharaoh. Barbara tells him she can take him to Dr. Quinzel to evaluate him, but he recognizes her as Harley Quinn, before panicking and trying to escape. They chase after him throughout the asylum until he reaches the rooftop and tries to jump off, but Barbara saves him, and they restrain him. He tries to mutter Harley's name, but he passes out. The next day, Barbara confronts Quinzel about the man, but she denies knowing him and quickly changes the subject to her date. At the precinct, Barbara goes to visit her dad, and he says that the police are focused on Batman and not actual criminals. Barbara feels conflicted because the evidence is pointing towards Quinzel. She goes to visit her again but finds her office empty and massacred, with Batman fleeing the scene. She finds her schedule that shows she lied to Barbara and gets an address from it. She drives there during the night, and it leads to an isolated place. A man answers the door named William Hastings and refuses to help Barbara. She tries to explain that he has been missing, but he kicks her out. As she's leaving, she knows something is wrong, so she parks on the side and decides to go back on foot. Before she climbs the walls, Batman interrupts her. He tells her that Dr. Quinzel is brainwashing her patients before going to deal with it on his own. Meanwhile, Quinzel is on a date with Montoya, and they are hitting it off. Suddenly, Quinzel is interrupted by a phone call and says she has to go for an emergency with a patient. She kisses her goodbye before leaving. Batman is investigating the house and finds all her patients locked away. Barbara also enters the house and finds Quinzel with Hastings. Harley confronts Batman and tells him that she knew he would come for her. She releases her patients and tells them that whoever gets Batman will be rewarded. They all grab their weapons and start attacking Batman, but Batman eats them for breakfast until Harley locks him up inside before gassing him out. They get away and Barbara sneaks inside after them before finding Batman. She starts bashing the glass to break it and free Batman. Harley is now leaving Gotham, but she finds Barbara's car and turns around. Barbara is still trying to break the glass when Harley tries to grab her and run. Barbara convinces her to save Batman, but the glass is now stuck as the house begins to explode. Batman's cell falls apart and they start running out of the house as it collapses. They fall off but Barbara saves Harley. The floor breaks and they fall, but Batman saves Barbara alone, and Harley falls to her demise. Batman tells Barbara that she was reckless, but Barbara doesn't want to hear it. Batman leaves as the sirens get closer. Later in the night, Montoya is still waiting for Harley when a phone starts to ring. It's Harley, telling her that she has to leave town, but she'll come for her again. Next episode, a police convoy is driving through the streets. A cop is complaining about the government when suddenly they see a ghost horse charging toward them. It chases after them and pulls a gun, shooting the tires and causing them to crash. The rider watches as the cop gets out of the vehicle before offering a hand. Finally, it leaves with a menacing laugh, having robbed the ruck of its money. Later on, Bruce is reading the news amidst a conversation with Lucius Fox. They discuss the ghost robberies and Alfred joins in. He has no doubt that Gotham is haunted. Lucius tells Bruce of a property he bought for the children. Harvey is reading the papers as he is being attacked. He is losing his endorsements and wants to show the people that he is their champion. 
Rupert Thorne waits for him in his car to strike a deal to help him. He wants to play both sides and basically offers him a bribe to help him. Batman is investigating the armored truck theft and decides to find out who the money was stolen from. Harvey holds a press conference in the middle of the subway to try and appear to be a man of the people. Suddenly, the Ghost Rider returns and enters the subway. He pulls his gun and begins robbing them all one by one. Harvey tries to give him money to leave everyone else alone, but the ghost finishes the job and vanishes. However, he is chased by Batman, and they run around the city. Batman spots a clue before they head down an alley, and the ghost somehow goes through the walls, but the money doesn't. Back at the Batcave, they investigate what happened. Batman concludes that the ghost targets the underprivileged, is obsessed with the 18th century, and that he needs answers he can't get. Lucius Fox is driving to the property he bought and is met by Russell Craddock. They discuss a cemetery nearby that belongs to the family. The man hates selling the place, but he is in need. As he gives him a tour, we find the same familiar crest. Batman hits the books at the library, and the librarian recognizes him from his childhood. Bruce asks her about the crest, and she says that this is the Craddock coat of arms. They were erased from Gotham's history because of James Craddock. He was a heavy gambler who lost most of his family's fortune. He became a highwayman who stole from the poor. He was caught and hanged at the gallows, forever tarnishing the family name. Finally, the librarian says that she is sorry for what happened to Bruce. Bruce tries calling Fox but is notified he is at the Craddock family place and hurries to go find him. Meanwhile, Fox and Russell sign documents as Fox asks about James's painting. Russell says he was a traitor, when suddenly, the ghost comes out of the painting. He is angry that he is selling the family estate. Suddenly, Batman comes in, but the ghost is untouchable. They escape while Batman fights, but he quickly gets upstaged and freezes his hand. The ghost impressed with his talent, lets him go. Back in Gotham, Harvey is being hammered by the press for watching the ghost. Batman is being treated for his frozen hand, and Batman begins to believe that the ghost is real. They find a magician by the name of Linton Midnight to find answers. He already knows what Batman wants. He explains that every ghost is a shade of his former self, repeating what they did in life. He gives him a spell book to get rid of James. He will need the original deed to the family estate and the blood of a nobleman. Batman accepts the book, but is warned that the spell will fight him back. Finally, the man hands Batman a vial for something he needs. Bruce then steals the deed from the library. He now needs to find a nobleman in the city. Alfred explains that his bloodline is from a long list of nobles. They start the ritual and Batman incites the spell. Alfred gives his blood, and they burn the deed when James suddenly interrupts. James is angered by the state of the city. They fight as Alfred finishes the job, and James goes up in flames, burning away. It's not over though, as James's remains enter inside Alfred, and he wakes up animated. Alfred begins attacking Batman and tells him that Alfred is hiding a secret. Batman refuses to kill Alfred, but he gets countered because of it. Batman finishes the job, and the ghost is finally expelled, and Batman collects him in the vial he was given. Batman is worried about Alfred, but he's fine, and Batman lashes out at him for getting hurt. In the distance, the magician watches, and Batman meets him. He hands him the vial, and the ghost begins begging from inside the vial to stay away from the magician. They conclude their deal, and the next day, Harvey is told that he's falling even further behind in the race for mayor. Harvey makes a phone call and accepts Thorne's offer. These two episodes from The Caped Crusader introduced Harley Quinn in a humanized and sane form. Her normal life is depicted as a psychiatrist, and we even dive into her regular friendships and interests, something we rarely see. We also got a Ghostbusters episode, which is a guaranteed banger with Batman. If you've enjoyed this series, let us know, and we'll continue to deliver on it to find out how the story ends and make sure you catch the previous episodes. Well, this brings us to the end of today's video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel to get more videos like this one. Your support helps us grow. And tell me what you think about this story. What do you think about the series so far? Do you like Harley Quinn's depiction, or is it too generic and too stale? Let me know in the comments below. I read all of them. And if you're watching till now, thank you. I'll see you in another video soon.